It's Spencer Hughes and the Spencer Hughes Podcast. And I listen to a lot of the uh, hearings yesterday involving Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh and the accusations against him. And I just was beside myself through most of it. I could not believe this circus environment. I could not believe this Inquisition environment. I could not believe a Congress full of raging alcoholics. Yeah, I said it. Congress filled with raging alcoholics. God, look at Ted Kennedy. He drank so much, he was pickled. He pickled himself. Raging alcoholic. Um, uh, Come on, man. Ted Kennedy wasn't there yesterday. Give him a break, man. Yeah, he got a lot of breaks. He killed a woman, for God's sakes. Ever heard of Chappaquiddick? He killed a woman and got away with it. Killed a woman and got away with it. And here, Brett Kavanaugh is being questioned for a yearbook quotation from 1983. Are you freaking kidding me? Can you believe this? According to the New York Times, Kavanaugh's yearbook revealed his love of partying. Wow. Which, what 18-year-old, 17-year-old boy uh, parties? Not too many, I guess. I, I don't know any 17-year-olds that party. I can't believe this. His love of sports? No. I mean, he was 17, 18 years old. He, he couldn't have been into sports. He couldn't have been into drinking. The legal age, by the way, was 18. According to um, the Times, he apparently called himself as a Renate alumni, referring to Renate Schroeder Dolphin, a woman who attended a nearby Catholic school. I don't know what Renate alumnus actually means. I can't begin to comprehend what goes through the minds of 17-year-old boys who write such things, but the insinuation is horrible, hurtful, and simply untrue. I pray their daughters are never treated this way. I will have no further comment. Dolphin told the Times earlier this week, adding she just recently heard about the yearbook page. Can you believe this? Can you believe they dug up a woman who is criticizing a, a, a then boy's quotation in his high school yearbook what does your high school yearbook say what does your high school yearbook reveal about you if we're going to start judging people based on how they acted in high school how about we judge them based on how they're acting right now i don't think any of us would have been deemed worthy of a supreme court seat if we were if we were being judged on the standards of a 17-year-old in high school, how many of us would have the jobs we have? How many of us would be able to do the things we do? How many of us would have been able to pursue our dreams if we had been judged based on the boy or girl that we were when we were 17 years old? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shameful, shameful Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Shameful, shameful person. Told Kavanaugh yesterday's hearing the yearbook pages were relevant because it was from the time many of the alleged incidents took place. He asked Kavanaugh if some of the words written inside were his own. He replied, we submitted things to the editors and I believe they took them. I don't know if they changed things or not. He added that he wasn't going to sit and contest the decades old comments. He said, have at it if you want to go through my yearbook. If you're worried about my yearbook, have at it, Senator. White House then asked Kavanaugh what Beach Week Ralph Club biggest contributor referred to in his high school yearbook. In his high school yearbook. What is Beach Week Ralph Club biggest contributor? What does that refer to? Kavanaugh admitted it was likely a reference to throwing up, adding he has always been known to have a weak stomach. He said whether it was beer or spicy foods, he was known to have had a weak stomach. He continued saying he busted his butt in school to get into college. White House continually pressed him on whether his vomiting was related to the consumption of alcohol. And Kavanaugh shot back, I like beer. I like beer. Do you like beer, Senator? What do you like to drink? Great, great rebuttal. Because, again, Congress is just ripe with alcoholics. It's just ripe with alcoholics.
White House then moved on, asking Kavanaugh to define the word boof, which the judge said referred to flatulence. Kavanaugh clarified, we were 16. We want to talk about flatulence at age 16 on a yearbook page. I'm game. Later, White House brought up the Renate alumni reference in the yearbook. Kavanaugh said she was a great friend who often hung out with his friend group. He reiterated, reiterated, noting he previously commented on the phrase in his opening statement that it did not refer to any sexual interaction and apologized her name got dragged through the mud. Alexander Walsh, a lawyer for Kavanaugh, told the Times in a statement earlier this week that the judge and Dolphin attended one school event together. One event. Judge Kavanaugh and Miss Dolphin attended one high school event together and shared a brief kiss goodnight following the event. They had no such other encounter. The language from Judge Kavanaugh's high school yearbook refers to the fact that he and Miss Dolphin attended that one high school event together and nothing else. And you know what? Even if it meant something else, even if it meant something crude, even if this were all true, even if his, you were to analyze his high school yearbook quote, again, how many of us would have gotten what we have gotten out of life? How many of us would get to the point that we have gotten to? How many of us would have gotten those promotions? How many of us would have gotten those positions? How many of us would have been able to fulfill our dreams had we been judged on a quotation that we wrote in high school at age 17 in the yearbook? How many of us? I'm just curious. I mean, can you can you answer that? This is incredible. It's absolute insanity. I mean, this is really, I think, the, the total mental breakdown of the United States Congress. It really is. I think it's a total breakdown of the American people who are fixated on this. They have more of a problem with Kavanaugh's quotation from his yearbook in high school than they did with Bill Clinton getting BJs in the White House. Picture that one. Picture that one, Bill Clinton getting BJ's in the White House, his pants down. Picture it. Picture it. They name high schools after Bill Clinton. They want to name streets after Bill Clinton. They want to name institutions after Bill Clinton. Ted Kennedy, raging alcoholic. You think he vomited a few times on himself? I think Ted Kennedy spent a lifetime vomiting all over himself. Raging alcoholic. Ted Kennedy pickled himself. He drank so much. He was pickled. And Kavanaugh drank beer when he was 17 or 18 years old. And he's being grilled on his high school quotations. This is absolute absurdity. Absolute absurdity. I'm Spencer Hughes. This is, I'm making this a free podcast today. I really am. I want this podcast to get out there because I want you to hear the truth. I want you to hear what the truth sounds like. I want you to hear what the hypocrisy of the Congress looks like and, and, and sounds like. I want you to see this. I want you to hear it. And I want you to join my podcast. If you are a man or woman of the intellect, as Ayn Rand called you once, the late, great Ayn Rand, one of the greatest philosophers of all time, she always was seeking the men and women of the intellect, and I am too, and that's what the podcast is all about. And we have a lot of fun too. You can check out the other free podcasts I've done over the last year at patreon.com slash Spencer Hughes. Patreon.com slash Spencer Hughes. Again, ask yourself before you point the finger at Kavanaugh uh, if you're proud of what you wrote in your high school yearbook. If you're proud of the, the drinking when you were 18 years old. Would you like your employer to look at your high school yearbook, maybe? Would you like to see your current employer um, see records of how much you drank when you were 17 or 18 years old? Would that make you proud? Would that have made your mom proud if she had known? It's the Spencer Hughes Podcast and Adventures at patreon.com slash Spencer Hughes. And we will continue.